Hey everybody, so today I'm going to teach you how to throw agate ware. So what you will need is uh, two different types of clay bodies. So I have a stoneware here that is similar to the Idaho buff that we have at Salts and Ceramics. And then I have a um, English garlic porcelain. You'll probably want some type of wire tool just to make it easier. And then I like to have a sponge on hand so I don't super cross contaminate the two different clay bodies right out of the gate. I always try to also handle the um, white clay body first. So the first thing that you're going to do is just prep the clay. So these are pre wedged, but if you need to, um, I recommend like kind of at least slapping them out a little bit. If you're working right off the block, you don't need to wedge crazy. I'm just gonna get the dust off of my hands. And then I'm going to slice this one in half. Especially with those smaller ones, it's also just a good test to make sure you're wedging it okay. So you can like make sure you don't have any crazy air bubbles. And then I'm just gonna squish on here and here. Um, depending on what you want to do and how well incorporated you want that piece, you can also, you know, slice and re-stack it. I want them to be pretty well spiraled, so I am going to kind of fresh out the gate, stack them a little bit more, and then I'm going to pound them together. So there's kind of two ways that you can do this. I could just kind of leave it like this and throw it that way. Or if I want a little bit more randomized, a little bit more incorporated, I can wedge those pieces together. And this wedging table is not, or this table is not awesome for wedging. Um, but, you know, just keep in mind that the more that you wedge this, the more that your um, pieces are going to spiral and those colors are probably going to blend more than be separate sections. There's no like ideal or perfect way to do this, but it's more like the type of aesthetic that you're going for. So now that that's like pretty randomly in there, I'm just gonna pound it out and then jump on the wheel and show you how you would approach this in a video on the wheel. So see you in just a second. All right, so I have my beautiful agate ware piece here. You can see across the edges, it has variation. Just main things to note when you're throwing agate ware is depending on the different consistencies of clay you have, like if you have a very elastic porcelain paired with a very groggy stoneware, you might have some harder time centering and coning. So my cone is a little bit more wobbly or spiral that I typically have when I am throwing normally. Um, and then just make sure you don't like cone it so many times that, it, that it'll all be incorporated. It will look kind of like a muddy watered down blurring, but once you hit it with specifically your metal rib tool, you will get that nice crisp line variation on here that is a signature look of our beautiful agate wear. So hope this is fun, gets you thinking about the wheel again, and hope to see you soon.